Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today, since this week we're kind of focusing on a wide range of cooler-based uh, videos, I wanted to go through one today and basically take the difference between an AMD CPU cooler and, of course, an Intel CPU cooler, and basically go through and talk about the pros and cons of each. Obviously, it's a stock cooler. It's going to be different, and I'm also going to be having this to compare. So, for the sake of time in this video, I don't like wasting people's time, especially if you took the time out of your day to watch my video. I try to keep things quite concise. So, I've already tested all these, and actually this one I've had for over a year and a half. I've tested them all on similar CPUs. Um, I actually tested this one on an i5 uh, for the purpose of a past video. Actually, I believe it was the last video that I made. And uh, basically this is, of course, was tested on Intel CPU. Yes, it's an AMD stock cooler on the AMD bracket. I've already, I've, we've already done that video and we've already done some testing. So I pretty much know that these perform about the same. Um, the AMD one actually does slightly a bit better. And of course this one is the best, but obviously it's not stock cooler. It's a similar sized cooler, um, the Reven Brontes, which is actually donated to me by one of the company. Actually, I think the guys that make it. Um, so big shout out to them. Uh, that, was, that was maybe a couple months ago, but I do like to say thank you for those companies that do decide to do that. Um, so. And then you're asking, what's the purpose of this video? Well, I want to take today to just kind of go over an uh, overall comprehensive um, view of these coolers. What do I like, what do I don't like? Um, this one I've had, oh my goodness, for multiple months. Um, and this has basically been the cooler that's done the, all the thermal paste testing. So if you ever want to know what's the best non-thermal paste, uh, thermal paste, it's jelly. And that was tested almost a year ago. Actually, probably about a year and a half ago is when I actually started testing those. Um, so that was that was a bunch of the videos that really you know started off my channel. And a lot of people weren't watching them. I'd recommend them. Uh, they're really low quality, and I do apologize. But those are, if, if you were to ask me, you know, why, why is this cooler memorable? It's because of those videos. Um, a lot of good, interesting stuff where this channel really got its foundation. But today I'm going to talk about and compare these. And I really want to take, the reason why I want to do this is because a lot of people will argue, you know, hey, uh, Intel has better CPUs. Um, Intel is better in this way. But when it comes to cooling applications and cooling for stock coolers, AMD is pretty much unmatched. And what I wanted to do today is compare what Intel stock cooler for a something that does include a cooler to AMD's current current lineup with it does, that does include a cooler, which is the Wraith. This is the Wraith Stealth, I believe, and this is just regular Intel stock cooler. And the Wraith Stealth um, comes with the Ryzen 2600, um, so that's what I'm going to be testing it from. Basically, an i5 and a Ryzen 5, similar TDPs, etc. So let's start off. So first off, number one, I like to talk about quality of builds. So first off, if I were to say one thing though about this whole situation, is that I really, really like the fan or the heat sink design on this cooler as well. Um, obviously, AMD has done a semi-decent job uh, with heat dissipation, but there is literally no way to match um, the amount of. Um, I guess the spiral design, um, it really does uh, allow for more efficient airflow um, with a less amount of metal, which I don't know if you guys can see or not, but this is probably maybe about um, a millimeter um, or more of less um, metal that they had to include in this stock cooler. Obviously it's slightly hotter, um, but of course they've done more efficient with what they have. Now for the, self, it, the fan itself, it's relatively... Um, around the same size. I wouldn't say, obviously the Intel cooler is slightly smaller um, for the fan itself, um, but if I were to take a moment to talk about like what I like, what fan is better, it is clearly the AMD fan because it just has so much more surface area. The Intel fan, uh, they, they both do feel about the same level of plastic. Um, I think AMD might win out a little bit. Now, obviously AMD did a nice job with their logo in the center, and of course the logo up here, you really do know what type of cooler it is, and of course they make this stuff with RGB. So this is a really, really like nice looking cooler when you put in there. Like this, this is of course looks like it's a little like you cheaped out on your CPU cooler, but at least with AMD, you, you know what processor it is, and it doesn't look horrible on your uh, CPU. So I do like to talk about that. Obviously let's talk about the mounting system. So I gotta say Intel does a better job on their mounting system. Why? Because simply this is by far one of my favorite um, easy to install coolers um, out there. Pretty much you just take it and pop um, these little pins. You basically just twist and pop in and out. Uh, honestly, you cannot get any better than this. Like it is literally just a twist away. And this is why one of the first coolers um, that I started using so much um, for a lot of my videos and going through and testing was simply because it just had so much, um, like so easy to go and take and use and take off and apply a different thermal paste. And a lot of the testing videos really started with this cooler. Now AMD, on the other hand, you have to get screws involved. Um, it isn't hands-on. And these screws are actually quite difficult to uh, make sure you get it on all the way, make sure everything's balanced. 
As for the quality of thermal paste, I've got to say that Intel's is relatively decent as well, um, where AMD's is of course relatively decent with a very, very, very slight advantage. Um, when I tested it, it was a slight, slight, maybe a couple degrees, maybe one to two degrees, and that could be of course with the margin of error of testing, could get an air bubble in there. So I really don't want to say that one company is better than that on cooling. Um, obviously, when you start going into other companies that go through and include thermal paste or include it pre-applied um, and have more of a, of course, a bigger heat sink, um, you really start to see that with the same amount of size, um, you could have used that quite differently. So, for example, something, as I said, this is the Reven Brontes, um, and, you know, they gave it to me. Um, so, th there's my bias there. But, honestly, it's a similar cooler, and I'm not saying this in particular cooler, but I'm saying similar coolers, um, you can definitely clear see the more use of the space. Obviously, there's a less or a thinner fan, um, but with more surface area, and you can kind of see that they've used this more of a square um, rather than a circular option, so they didn't, they have more surface area, of course, this piece dissipate that heat and of course they have heat pipes as well so overall I've got to say that if you were interested in just looking at it from the standpoint of cooling applications and what you get from AMD Intel etc um, Intel only offers this on the non K models so the locked models of processors meanwhile AMD offers this on pretty much any Ryzen second gen processor and any non X processor in the first gen so this is by far and they also all include standard cooling applications so this is by far um, AMD does a much better job, at least on the quality, in my opinion, of um, really how well they make their fans. I really do like AMD's fans, and I don't actually end up buying another fan um, unless someone specifically wants water cooling, just because of how all this works. This even leaves, sometimes leaves some overclocking room, um, and it's a great extra fan to have around. Um, and I really do like AMD's fan designs um, a lot better. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry I had a busy week and I really wanted to get a video out. Um, so this is not necessarily what I usually do, but I wanted to kind of make this video um, since I didn't have as much time as I'd like to. So thank you very much for watching. hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.